Are we recording? Hey everyone, um, I'm here with the first installment of Tarantula Hot Topic. I'm going to be doing a um, kind of like a question uh, opinion kind of thing. Like, here's my dog. Um, so I'm going to be going over some uh, hot topics in regards to tarantulas and their care um, and all that stuff. So each episode will contain um, my opinions, my personal opinions on the hot topic. And then um, I will ask you guys some questions and you guys can respond and let me know what you think and all that stuff. So this is going to be kind of like an interactive thing where you guys can kind of participate and be a part of my YouTube channel. Yes, yay. So the first topic that we're going to discuss is enclosures. And I've been getting a lot of people that comment on my uh, feeding videos and things like that that say that my enclosures are terrible and that they shouldn't be kept in boxes and what, what have you. You know. Egg. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what I use as enclosures for adults, sub-adults, and slings. Um, for both arboreals and terrestrials. So I guess let's start with slings. What do I use for slings? Well, for the terrestrials, I use these. They're little um, sauce cups or something. Uh, there's no tarantula in this one. Um, but they're just like little containers and I do put holes in the side. I hope you guys can see that because people keep telling me that I don't put holes in my enclosures. I do. So this is what I use. Um, they're really cheap. You can get them for like uh, 10 bucks on Amazon or something for like a hundred of them. Um, they're really good because they're, they're very easy to put holes in the side and um, the lids come off very easily and all that stuff. So these are really good for terrestrial slings. Um, for arboreal slings, I use these pill jars, um, and currently I only have one arboreal sling, which is the Somapos arminia. For arboreals, you need a lot of a lot more height as opposed to floor space. So um, the the tall pill jars, because there's I don't have one right now, but there's different like sizes of pill jars. Like they have the short, fat ones, and then they have these long, tall ones. Uh, so I use these for the arboreal um, slings. And then for the arboreal, um, I don't have an adult yet, but for these, like, um, sub-adults, I have this little thing. These things are really cool because, um, they have air holes drilled in the side and not the top so that the, um, humidity doesn't escape through the top, which is really nice. Um, and then this one actually opens from the, the middle. Um, as you can see, my, I don't know where he went, oh, he's on the cord bark, but he actually has a lot of webbing up here, so if I were to have one that opens from the top, it would completely destroy the webbing every time I opened the lid. So, um, this one opens like this, and these are really good for um, adults if you can find um, the right size. I actually don't have an adult yet, so I don't know where you can get these sizes. Uh, I think you can get them on Amazon or something like that, and I think Jamie's Tarantulas sells them, but they're really, really expensive on there. So, like, an adult terrestrial enclosure, like, this big, going for, like, a hundred bucks. Like, that's ridiculous. Anyway, so, um, the terrestrial, like, juveniles or smaller species, like, I have, um, some dwarf species. So, the one enclosure that I recommend is this one. This is my... Rosie. So this is just a Sterilite container. It's a um, six quart container. It's just basically like a shoebox container. Um, and for all of you who um, insist that I don't have air holes, I do. They're all along here, all along here, on that side as well. And oh look, there's some on that side too. Anyway, <clears throat> So I do have air holes in my containers. And with the Starlight containers, if you want to make the air holes, all you have to do is get an awl. Um, it, you can get them in like the craft store or something like that. Get an awl and just poke it through. Or you can get a drill, but I kind of don't have a drill, so I've been using awls. 
alls, all, and all, like A W L. Yeah. So for my <clears throat> adult enclosures, I use these. And oh look, air holes! Holy cow! Air holes everywhere! Oh my gosh! Okay. So this is a Sterlite container also. This one is an 8.5 by 11. It doesn't have cordage on here for some reason, but I get these at um, Target. These are really good for um, adults. I have Coco in here right now, and she's very happy in here. She doesn't really need anything bigger. Those are good for adult tarantulas. Up to like 8 inches or something like that. Knock it off! These are my eggs. Cute puppy. Ah! Now start! So, with that being said, um, I want to know what you guys think. For those of you that say that plastic enclosures, plastic tubs, stuff like that are not suitable for a tarantula, I want to know what you guys put yours in and also what you guys put your slings in because I don't know of any other enclosures that aren't plastic that you can put slings in. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys use. Look at your cute face. He wants my eggs. I have eggs and he wants them. <clears throat> so just let me know what you guys think, what you like, what you dislike, um, what you recommend, what you ow, that hurts, and um, what you suggest to new people, what you suggest to me, because, I mean, obviously I want to know what you guys think, and I don't know, you guys might have some pretty cool stuff that I don't, I never would have thought of. This video is just going all over the place, and I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry, egg. So, comment. Comment below. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> Depending on... Whoa, I just spit everywhere. Did you see that? Depending on... <clears throat> Depending on the content of your comment, I may or may not delete it. And I may or may not reply to it. So please keep your comments clean. No negative, biased, or extremely rude comments. Because they'll just get deleted. No point in um, wasting your time. Or my time. Um, the ones that are thorough. The ones that are um, intelligent additions to the conversation. I will be um, reviewing and possibly replying to. Um... Basically, if you comment with something that is, like, legit, then I won't delete your comment. <coughs> this is the last one, I promise. I'm hungry! Also, in my next Hot Topic video, I will probably be featuring some of you guys and your questions and your comments, um, and I will be <coughs> responding to those in my next video before we move on to the topic. So go ahead and leave your comments below. Um, reply to the questions. Tell me what you guys think on enclosures. Um, anything really, any kind of enclosure question or comment or suggestion. Um, go ahead and leave that below. I will be answering as many as I can um, and featuring some of the comments in the next video. So look out for that, depending on how popular this is. Um, and make sure to hmm. yeah that was me again so um, be sure to like and subscribe and go ahead and check out my other other, vi blah, 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 other videos I don't know what I'm doing with this video I didn't really prepare I didn't prepare. I didn't prepare. My dog is sitting in my lap and it's really, really hot. He's like boiling. My leg's off. Mm, look at his cute face. So, <clears throat> make sure to like and subscribe and comment below. And I will be in the comments. I will see you guys in the comments.
Um, let me know if you guys like this idea or if it's all in vain, a complete waste of my time. But let me know if you like the video and the idea of the video and I'll keep making these and all that good stuff. So yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the comments.